Hi booktube! My name is Sarah and welcome to The Bookish Knitter. Today I am coming to you with an author spotlight video. So I'm really excited to start bringing these videos back. It was one of my goals at the beginning of the year to do more of these spotlight videos, whether it be on authors or on category romance series and things like that. And then of course the beginning of this year was just, you know, a dog's breakfast as they say. I kind of, you know, laid low in January because I did do um, uh, Vlogmas, so that was a lot of videos, and then of course in February I ended up in hospital, March trying to get my feet back up under me, but here we are in April, I'm super excited to be feeling good and to be doing these videos again for you guys, super excited. So for this very first author spotlight video of 2022, we are starting with the delightful Marta Perry. And the reason I decided to start with Marta Perry, even though she isn't an author that I talk about a lot, she's an Amish author. Like she, she's not Amish herself. She writes predominantly uh, Amish books. I almost said Irish, Amish books. And because of course we are in April, it is Amish in April. Elizabeth uh, from Lizzie Faye Loves Books and I are hosting this. Um, I wanted to kind of highlight an author that I was a big fan of in the Amish writing community, if you will. So let's jump in and get started. So her first novel was published back in 1998, October of 1998. And that book was A Father's Promise. It was Love Inspired Novel Number 41. Since then, she has uh, published somewhere in the neighborhood of about 70 books. It might be a little bit less than 70, but right around the 70 mark. So she's very, very prolific. And she writes predominantly for Love Inspired, Love Inspired Suspense, as well as single titles for both HQN Books and Berkeley. So she writes for a lot of different uh, places, a lot of different page lengths. Um, I have noticed that in more recent years, her Amish books tend to veer more in the suspenseful direction. When I say suspenseful, though, these are not the Linda Castillo, Kate Burkholder suspenseful books. These are not the thriller books. These are just Amish books that are a bit more suspenseful, more like the Love Inspired Suspense books. So what I have next is I want to share with you five books by her. Essentially, these are books that I think just kind of highlight the type of writing that she does. Uh, different series, a couple of these I have read, not all of them. I will let you guys know which ones I have read. And I'm doing them in order from... Um, uh, publication, the oldest publication date to the more recent publication date. So the first book I have here is called Hide in Plain Sight, and it is Love Inspired Suspense Novel number 65. It was published in August of 2007, and this is the first book in the Three Sisters in trilogy. I believe it's a trilogy. So essentially, it's about a woman, a financial expert by the name of Andrea, whose sister gets injured, and she trades her big city life for life in Amish country. She herself is not Amish, but her grandmother is. I believe it sounds like the parents left the Amish community and then raised their children, obviously non-Amish. So she is working with her sisters or sister or sisters to get this in up and running. Um, like I said, the one sister was injured, so she's stepping in to help. And there's something sinister going on. Someone does not want this inbuilt or refurbished or what have you. And the romance in this one is that our main character, Andrea, falls for the carpenter who's working at the inn. So it sounds really great. great. I have not read this one yet or this series, but it is on my list to get to. And yeah, it sounds really great. The next book I have is Murder in Plain Sight, and this was published in August of 2010. This is the first book in the Brotherhood of the Raven series, and I did read this book in 2018. I gave it three and a half stars, I think. So this one was really great. Again, the main character in this one, her name is Jessica. She is a big city lawyer. She herself is not Amish, but she is defending a young Amish boy against claiming that he brutally murdered this woman. So essentially this entire story is about that case and kind of revolves around this case. The cover on this one is just, you know, you can definitely tell how suspenseful this one is going to be. It was really interesting. Again, our main characters are not Amish, but there is a lot within the Amish community. So this book would absolutely count, of course, for Amish in April. And I really enjoyed it, like three and a half stars. This was, I think, my very first Marta Perry. And I was not disappointed. And I have continued to read her books ever since. The next book is another one that I read by her. And I really enjoyed this book. So this was Home by Dark. And it came out in December of 2012. This is the first book in the Watcher in the Dark series. I read it in 2019. I gave this one four stars. It was really, really great. This is, again, 
um, a story about a woman who is not Amish, but is living in Amish country. So her name is Rachel and actually she is former Amish. So she was raised by the, like her parents are Amish and she was raised in the faith and then decided not to join the church and she left. Got married, had a daughter, and now is widowed. And she has come back to the small town that she grew up in, but she's not living in the Amish part of the community. She's living, you know, in the English part of the community, if you will. And she's kind of has a really a strange relationship with her parents. You know, they're not exactly welcoming. She would have been shunned by the church for leaving, but she is very close to her young brother, Benjamin. And something is happening with her brother, that there is somebody after her, and it seems like it's a killer. Like, someone is killing these young boys, I think, within this community. So Rachel's trying to keep her brother, Benjamin, safe and, you know, keep her daughter safe and all those things. The cover on this one, hands down, is one of my favorite covers of all time. Just in general, I... This cover is, I just think about this. I read this one for an Amish in April. I remember distinctly in 2019 that I was reading this one for Amish in April. I think that year we had like seasons as the, um, as the, the prompts. And this one was like a very fall like cover to me with those golds and, and yellows and oranges. So yeah, this one was really, really good. Really edge of your seat. Highly, highly recommend. So the next book I have to share with you is definitely a more chaste, Amish romance. This is not a suspense at all. This is a love inspired novel. So we have Second Chance Amish Bride. Again, it's love inspired number 1087. And this is from September of 2017. It's the first book in the Brides of Lost Creek series. So it's, um, this is definitely our main characters in this book are Amish. And we have a woman by the name of Jessie who is being tasked to care for her late cousin's children. So this is very difficult for her because, um, the, uh, the the father of these children is the gentleman that she thought that one day she would marry until I guess her cousin caught his eye and the two of them got married had children but then the cousin I guess I guess left him and then ended up dying somehow I don't know how I have not read this book but it looks it, and it sounds really good so of course the, the the husband, the father, Caleb, he is having issues having Jesse there because she is, of course, a reminder of his late wife who, again, left the family before she passed away. So there is, you know, uh, an enemies situation with this one, but it sounds really great. I just love reading these books. They're just so heartwarming and so chaste and so sweet. And yeah, as well as Marta Perry does the suspense, she also does these, you know, romances really, really well as well. So the last book I want to share with you, sort of, I do have one more book to share after this, but this is the last of the five that I want to talk about. It's called Amish Outsider. It was published in June of 2019, and it's the first book in the River Haven series. So it's about a man named Michael who left the Amish community when he was a teenager, again, probably decided not to join the church, got married. Him and his wife had a daughter and his wife was murdered. So him and his daughter have moved back to Amish community, a quieter life to get away from the city life. And of course, his wife's murder and all those things. And he meets his daughter's Amish school teacher. So I don't know. I don't think he has rejoined the church, but I just think that maybe this woman teaches school. I'm not absolutely certain how that works. However, then his past comes back to start to threaten them. So this one, I think, definitely is more that romantic suspense element where you're getting a lot of this romance between Michael and this Amish woman. And what is her name? Does it say Kath Kath Kathleen? Catherine. Her name is Catherine. Um, sorry, I have my notes here. So her name is Catherine. So it's definitely the romance between the two of them. However, hanging over all of it is going to be what happened with his wife and perhaps something from that is coming back that's going to affect what's happening now. Sounds really good. I have not read this series yet, but I want to. And yeah, this one looks really, really fantastic. And the last book I want to talk about is actually her newest book that's going to be coming out. So I want to kind of end these videos with maybe if the author has a new release coming out that we're aware of to share that with you guys so you can maybe put it on your radar. So the book is The Second Christmas, and it comes out September 27th, 2022. It's being published by Berkeley. This is the first book in an Amish holiday series. And I'm just going to read just a little bit of this for you guys here. And it says, when Leah pictured returning to, to Promise Glen, she imagined taking everything she learned from her aunt's business in upstate New York and starting up a quaint herbal tea shop of her own. 
What she didn't expect was for Josiah to insist on helping her. Josiah might have been her childhood sweetheart, but they've both changed a lot since then, and Leah's not sure she can trust the man who once broke her heart. So this one is definitely more on the romance spectrum, not the suspense side. The cover looks great. I did request this one from NetGalley. We shall see if I get it or not. If I don't, regardless, either even if I do or don't get it, I've already got it on pre-order and I'm really looking forward to reading it. I love Amish holiday books as well. I just think they're so sweet and I am very much looking forward to this one. So anyway, guys, that is all that I have for this video today. Please let me know in the comments below if you've read Marta Perry. Were there any books of hers that I did not mention that you really enjoyed? Or is this an author you are now going to check out maybe for Amish in April or maybe just pick up a couple of her books to read at another time? So like I said, she doesn't just write Amish. Some of her older stuff is just more the love inspired faith based fiction, faith based romance, excuse me. But her more recent, much more recent stuff is definitely more Amish in nature. So anyway, guys, that is all that I have for today's video. Take care and happy reading, everybody. Bye.